All right, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be watching a clip of this guy talking about how Lupe really has been hating on Kendrick Lamar. Um, and we're going to discuss what we think about Lupe and, you know, so we'll be back. Sketch Pad, you know what it is. Uh, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Uh, if you want to donate, links on the screen. Hey, man, look, we're going to play this little clip and we're going to talk about this whole thing and what we believe and what we feel. So let's go. Complex Magazine decided to release a list of rappers that apologized to Kendrick Lamar and Lupe Fiasco was on that list. So let's go over Lupe Fiasco's part of this article and see why Lupe Fiasco apologized to Kendrick Lamar. And the article says, in January 2018, in a series of deleted tweets, Lupe Fiasco responded to a fan's question and argued that Kendrick shouldn't be considered a top tier lyricist. And this is what Lupe said. I'll put it to you like this, K-Dot is not a top tier lyricist to me and my standards when it comes to punchlines and bars. His overall lyrics are good, his story's phenomenal, but punchline and tendras, lyrically, I don't see it. He continued on and said, also the only issue that the world thinks I have with K-Dot, and I actually do, is that I think his control verse was whack and super overhyped to be a verse claiming you are the best rapper. It was very weird. I was told it was just bait, but still. Then a few months went by, and this is where Lupe Fiasco backtracked and basically apologized what he said to Kendrick Lamar. And he did this in an Instagram video, and he said he was sorry for engaging and talking about other artists' career. He said, maybe I should have just left it alone, even though my impetus was the control verse. I mean, you put yourself out there like that, so you opened up yourself to critique. I apologize for even engaging and talking about guys' careers. I'll never do that shit again. What's funny is after that apology, literally two years later in 2020, he decided to tweet out that he's a better lyricist than Kendrick and he's better than Kendrick. And then Punch, who's TDE's president, uh, you know, tweeted out, LOL, laughing at the situation. So he kind of backtracked, but then he, you know, stuck his chest out again in 2020. Once Complex released that article of all those artists apologizing to Kendrick Lamar, Lupe reacted to it and Lupe was not happy. He said, relax, yo. He said, I wasn't apologizing to him, LOL. I was sorry about the entire shinding because it was such a waste of time and energy and something that I actually had nothing to do with me. Keep my name clear. I fear no rapper of any kind on any time. K dot solid, but y'all need to chill, LOL. And here we are now, fast forward to now and Lupe Fiasco is performing at Coachella. And this is what he had to say. Hear me clearly when I say this and I mean it from the bottom of my heart when it comes to this art. And I quote, I will battle any motherfucking rapper. So there you have it, man. Lupe Fiasco making a fucking ass of itself as usual. So how do I feel about Lupe Fiasco, uh, Lupe coming at Kendrick Lamar? 
Lupe is the poor man's version of Kendrick. This is the bottom line. He's the poor man version of Kendrick. He's a great lyricist. That's about <coughs> it. Don't get me wrong. He has some memorable songs. He has some good songs. But his time was back in 2014, 2015, somewhere around there. He hasn't been relevant for years. The only reason why he's doing this is because he has a thing with Kendrick because he is the person who was supposed to have been Kendrick and he never manifests to that. He never did. He can't say that he didn't have the opportunity either. I, I, I mean, newsflash, newsflash, Lupe, your music ain't that great. You got one good album to me, one classic, I would say. Other than that, you're just okay. You could be the super craziest lyricist of all time. It don't matter. We see how it happened with cannabis. Cannabis was one of the best lyricists ever. Where did that take him? What people got to understand when it comes to rapping, right? It's <coughs> not always about how good you are with bars because you can be super great with bars. But the rest, but the rest of you lacks in content. It don't matter. So how can I say that you are a super good lyricist if you can't make songs that everybody can resonate with? Now I ain't, I ain't saying you gotta be on some pop or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing: when Lupe says stuff like, like. Somebody asked him, I think it was Averb. Averb asked him, he said, do you, you never heard a Kendrick verse or a Kendrick song where you say, damn, he's dangerous. Lupe said, no. See, Lupe is very insecure when it comes to Kendrick Lamar because Lupe feels as though that should be him. He feels like this, this should be me. This should be me. Why, why is, why is everybody liking him so much? I do the same thing. See, look what I did. I do stuff similar to that. My music is kind of like that too. It's not nigga. Your music's not like that. I wish you stopped with this, bro. Your music ain't like that. You got a few songs that people like. That's about it. You don't have no quotables. What quotables do Lupe Fiasco have? You're just a poor man's Kendrick, bro. That's it. Kendrick's the Bentley. You're the Chrysler 300, nigga. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <coughs> your music ain't aged well either. People can't even name your first album, bro. So I wish he, I wish he stopped. I wish he stopped going on this campaign like as if he's. He's this unbeatable guy. Okay, you got the best of Royce. But that ain't saying much because you and Royce, y'all at the pinnacle when it comes to lyrics. So, okay. Again, I'll use the analogy. It's like, it's like Mike Tyson fighting Holyfield. One of them gonna lose. But guess what? We will say that Mike Tyson, even though he lost to Holyfield twice, we gonna say Mike Tyson is better than Holyfield, right? Isn't that what everybody gonna say? Well, that's what they so been saying. Just because say. you took a you beat beat a great lyricist, that don't make you the super hottest nigga ever. Mm -hmm. I'll battle anybody, anytime, anywhere. I'll battle. you just want to be relevant, nigga. Just say that. You just want somebody to say something to you, so you could do a million songs. You did a song, <laughs> nigga. You still talking about control? Control came back out in 2013 and you're still talking about control. That's how I know that you fear Kendrick. You have a problem with Kendrick. You're talking about a, a verse that came out literally 11 years ago. How are you still talking about control? I don't understand it. You niggas, you niggas, a nigga mentioned your name and he says something about competition. Y'all all getting y'all feelings. Start crying. Oh my God. And you're still talking about it. 
That's the last and effect of that, that verse. You said the verse was whack, but you're still talking about it 10 years later. How is that? Man, look. Just go ahead, bro. Um. So, all right, so here's the thing, right? So, Kendrick wanted to bring back some liveness into hip hop. So he puts, he does the control verse. Everybody's in the uproar. Then <clears throat> a few years later, he does the like that verse with Metro Boomin and Future. Everybody gets in the uproar. This is the type of energy that Kendrick wants in music. He wants people to care. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a little in my throat. So, excuse me. He wants people to care. He wants people to feel like this is it. This is something special. You understand what I'm saying? He brought back the energy that rap is supposed to have anyway. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm not saying we we're not supposed to have our other side, our conscious side or whatever the case may be. I'm saying that that competitive spirit. He brought back that competitive energy. I know Kendrick right now is watching everything that's going on, and he's saying, you're welcome. You are welcome. That's what he's saying right now. Because he's bringing back the element that rap has been missing for a very long time. <clears throat> I watched this interview with uh, Jada Kiss, right? And he said, that rap music is just not the same anymore. That energy I feel is not the same no more. And he's right. It's not. But Kendrick is trying to bring it back. Kendrick Lamar is trying to bring back that feel. And so far, he's been successful. Because it's creating this wave of things that normally wouldn't happen if everybody was like all oh, buddy buddy. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't have your favorites. I'm not saying you shouldn't connect with this person or connect with that one. I'm just saying that the energy right now in rap music is where it needs to be, especially right now. Kendrick just brought that back. Now the Lupe whole situation let me just say this right as phenomenal lyricist as lupe is i have to say lupe man stop being in your feelings it's not your time anymore you had your time you gotta take a back seat now because there's other lyricists out there who are just like you who are not feeling some type of way or about everything that's going on because they're not being mentioned or they're not this or they're not that. It shows envy. It shows hatred when you do this because you're not even responding in a competitive type of way. You're more or less responding as, well, I need to be relevant, so I'm going to keep mentioning this guy's name. So as long as my name is attached to Kendrick, I'm always going to get some recognition. That's how you're depicting everything. No one can take nothing away from you from what type of lyricist you are. But y'all are still two different types of artists. Y'all still two different types of artists. Kendrick does something with the artistry that a lot of artists, even my favorite artist, doesn't even do. That's what Kendrick does. We just got to respect it. That's it. 
Not everybody can be like Kendrick. Some people don't even want to be like Kendrick. They want to be their own person. So at the end of the day, you know, all this other stuff about battling or whatever, yeah, you probably could do that. But at the end of the day, what is it worth it? You are getting upset about the wrong things. So, like I said, man, like, it don't surprise me, you know. You know what I mean? Any, everybody's trying to attach their name to that situation. Hell, even the AI, even AIs are trying to attach their name to Kendrick. You got AI Kendricks trying to attach their name to the real Kendrick, impersonating him. It's the energy that he's bringing to the raps. It's the energy. 10 years down the road, maybe even 20, we all going to be thankful for what Kendrick is doing right now. Because this type of artistry could create something new and refreshing later on down the line you know so. all right man look lupe stop meat riding boy go sit down somewhere you know what it is sketch pad you know what it is to your peace bye